simplest and the most delicious meal that has only a few ingredients. It's called Sambuko Manchik. Sambuk in Armenian means eggplant. Manchik are called the dishes that are almost like a stew. They're not really a soup, but also they, they may look like a soup, but they are very thick. Um, they, uh, manchik is made mostly with vegetables. You can make it with um, eggplants, green beans, zucchini, any kind of vegetable. This time, since I already have eggplant, I'm making the one with eggplant. And it's a long and very um, not interesting story how this eggplant <laughs> started grilling and then I changed my mind and uh, decided to cook it. So it's half half grilled vegetable called... How do you call this in Armenian? Sambuk. Sambuk. Ah, yeah, sambuk. Anyways, that's not important. What important? It's still fresh. We can cook it. What else do you need? Onions. Most manjik dishes are uh, consist from sauteed onions, fresh tomatoes, and I have canned crushed tomatoes. Use anything you have on hand. And, and fresh is more better. And what? And those make my eyes make tears. Yes, and these onions make your eyes make tear tears. You also need chickpeas. I have canned chickpeas. You can cook yours. Simply immerse it in cold water overnight. Then the next day discard the water, add more cold water and cook it until chickpeas are cooked completely. So mine are cooked. What else do we need? Of course, vegetable oil. I'm gonna use garlic, um, salt, pepper, red crushed pepper halebo, uh, my favorite halebo pepper, and um, mint, dried mint. I'll also add some fresh parsley. That's basically it. That's it. Let's start. Let's start finally making this dish. A few tablespoons of olive oil, and then onions will go next. Saute until slightly translucent. slightly translucent onions. Mine are almost golden color. So I'll add my tomato. Hajan. Check on my iPad, yeah. And you also want to check on my iPad and see if it's charged enough. And it's for your kids, by the way, not for you. Because your kid likes playing on iPad one hour a day. No, no more. Right, Arka? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five percent. Five percent. You'll keep may wait another few minutes. Um, okay, so um, because I have this huge eggplants and I don't know why even I got these huge ones when I already had small ones. It doesn't really matter. I'll use this because, you know, I don't like wasting vegetables. They have to be used. Okay, so I'll cube my um, huge eggplants. This one, this time you can either slice them into circles or semi-circles. That's that. Okay, and this is getting almost, almost ready. Took a few minutes. I'll cube this and add to my tomatoes. I forgot to add the garlic. I would have added the garlic on tomatoes. But better later than never, if I said it right. And since I have extra peppers in my fridge and I really want to use those, I'll add the peppers as well. The more veggies, the better. The tastier. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cover my skillet and let this cook and simmer about 15-20 minutes because my chickpeas are already cooked I'll, I'll have it at the end mm -hmm. and garlic of course dry 
herbs. I just remembered I was supposed to add dry herbs. It's recommended to add unsauteing onions. That way they say that flavor is more, it's more fragrant. I don't know. I'll add it now. Mm -hmm. Where is the squeezer? Very happy with this idea, garlic squeezer. In case, in case you wonder. Okay. Just a quick stir to incorporate everything. And this incredibly fragrant mint. I'd say um, basil will work just as good as mint for this dish. I may even add it a little bit. Okay, should I salt it? No, I'll wait 10 minutes and then add my spices, seasonings and herbs. That's it. Where is the lid? And this should cook a medium to low heat, if I didn't say. I love this silence after sizzling dish. This cooked about seven to ten minutes, and I can see how eggplants are translucent. I should say they look almost cooked. At this point, I'm going to add my chickpeas, and yes, I decided to go ahead and add a good pinch of dry uh, basil. Now I can add all my spices and keep in mind some chickpeas are salted so go light and then you can taste the salt and more if needed. Black pepper always to taste. Halepo, you don't like it spicy, leave it out. Mm -hmm. And what else? Good mix and I'll cook this another three to four minutes add my freshly cut herbs and it's ready how simple and I forgot to taste this one Ready. Cook another three minutes and that's it. Fresh herbs. This looks and smells amazing. Where is my spoon? Okay. Last stir and I would say let it set a few minutes, like five, ten minutes before you serve it. But then I'm also gonna say if you're very hungry, don't wait that 10-15 minutes. Serve yourself immediately. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'll put down very quick and easy directions and recipe on my blog at helena.com. Check it out, try it, let me know how you liked it. And another thing, if you like this more soupy consistency, feel free to add some vegetable broth and make it lightly um, on a soupy side it's your dish make it the way you like it that's it i'm gonna go grab my spoon or fork <laughs> taste it and i'll see you soon thank you so much for watching and hold on one minute Amazingly delicious and amazingly hot like this weather. Mm, so so good. And I love my meals, my food with 
some lavash especially if it's something slightly soupy This couldn't be better. I have to share this little detail. As I started enjoying, I decided to squeeze a good lemon squeeze of the lemon juice. It's much more delicious with this yumminess. And a little bit cumin will complement the dish. Just an advice. Now that's it. Mm.